This video will show you how to complete the Chrome Team Leader V-Book challenges in Fortnite Save the World. So let's get right into it. So as of Thursday, the 3rd of July, Epic will be releasing a pack in the Fortnite Save the World item shop called the Chrome Team Leader. It will include the Chrome Team Leader Hero, a schematic, 1000 V-Book challenges, and the Chrome Team Leader skin for Battle Royale. The challenges are essentially just to complete seven daily challenges in Save the World, and once you've done those seven daily challenges, you will be rewarded with your full amount of 1000 V-Bucks. So, once you log on to Fortnite, go into Save the World. Once you're in Save the World, go down to the bottom right where it says Quest Log, and at the top you should see Daily Quests. Those are where you find your challenges. You can stack up to three, for all of you who didn't know that. To some of you who are probably new to save the world, these challenges might seem a bit difficult because you don't know obviously what's going on in save the world, you might not have played it before. So for example this challenge here, eliminate 500 husks, that'll take about 2 games, 2-3 two, games in a specific mission type which I'll obviously explain all about in the video. First of all, I'm going to go over the daily destroy challenges. These include having to destroy an item and a certain amount of that item that can be found in different areas on the map. I'll start off with all the daily destroy challenges that can be completed inside the industrial areas. So first of all, we've got destroy two transformers. Usually there are at least two on every industrial map, so you should be able to complete that in one game. And second, we've got destroy 10 propane tanks. These are once again, easy to complete in the industrial zones. There's usually 10 on each map, but you might get eight or nine and you might have to hop into a second game to complete that. So next we've got the daily destroy challenges that are in the suburbs. So you've got destroy garden gnomes. You can do these in the suburbs. They are pretty easy. It's usually destroy three. So that can take, take you between one or two games. Then you've got destroy six seesaws, park seesaws. So that might take about two games depending on the type of suburb you're in. Um, next you've got the destroy eight teddy bears. This is probably the hardest daily destroy you can get so this will take you between three to four games to complete unless you're really lucky and you find a certain building that spawns a lot in such as the daycare center in the suburbs but if you want you can switch this out for an easier challenge. Next, we've got the daily destroys in the city zones. These are ones that are obviously easier to do in the city zones. First off, we've got destroy TVs. These can be done in any zone, but easier in the city zones, obviously, because it's a city, there's more buildings, it's houses and apartments that include a lot of TVs. So that's easier, it's destroy 20 of them. Next, you've got destroy three fire trucks. This will take about one to three games, depending on how lucky you are with the spawns. Then you've got destroy three arcade machines. These spawn randomly across all zones, but city zones tend to have more and Fortnite do recommend doing them in the city zones. And then last, you've got destroy four server racks. What these are are just little boxes you find inside um, survivor shelters, which are like little rooms that survivors have built. I'll put a picture on screen now of what they look like so you get a better understanding of what they look like. And also when, you, when you're near one of these challenges, a little yellow exclamation mark will appear on the map showing you that you're near something you can destroy. If you ever get a challenge which is destroy eight teddy bears, I would just skip that. Get that out of your daily challenge bar. This will take you a lot of games because sometimes teddy bears don't spawn at all on the maps or sometimes you can be very, very lucky and you can complete all eight in one game. So if you get that, I'd recommend just swapping it out for a different challenge. The next challenge is daily discovery. This includes every single area, or like every single zone on the map, which is the grasslands, the city and all that. It basically is just to find certain areas in those maps. So for example, you've got the rural or areas, which is you've got to find bunkers, shacks and ruined houses. So go into the grasslands for that. Uh, next, you've got cities, the city daily discovery. You've got to discover eight either police stations, fire stations, hospitals or parking lots and decks. Next, you've got shelters. This can be completed on any zone, any type of map, city, suburbs, industrial. You've just got to find four outdoor survivor shelters. They will be located on the outskirts of the, of the map. Those are pretty easy to complete whilst you're trying to complete other challenges. 
and then you've got discover 10 suburb locations which are parks and restaurants this i find that you can easily complete in one game but sometimes you'll get close to completing it but you'll have to hop into another game and lastly for the daily discovery you've got discover three industrial construction sites i'll put a picture up on screen now of what the industrial construction sites look like they're pretty much it's a construction site it's pretty simple you might get three in one game if you're on a if you're on a very lucky map but it might take you two games The next category of challenge we've got is husk extermination these are pretty much killing husks with a certain type of hero so with every single hero it'll be just kill 300 husks i recommend going into the destroy encampment mission type these will you can probably do maybe 300 if you're in there on your own if you fully complete the mission but this might take you two games so it's kill 300 husks with constructors ninjas outlanders and soldiers which are all hero types pretty much the next type is kill 500 husks in a successful mission with any hero this will take you a bit longer obviously because it's 500 husks but you don't have to use a specific category of hero and then you've got kill 300 husks with a specific weapon type so you've got 300 husk kills with assault rifle smg shotgun pistol trap sniper and melee these will tend to take longer than the 300 kills with the heroes but if you have a 300 kills with heroes and a 300 kills with a say assault rifle you could easily get them done next similar kind of to the last mission type you've got mission specialist so this pretty much is to complete a certain amount of missions so fully complete a certain amount of missions with different hero types so you've got to complete three missions with a constructor or a ninja an outlander or a soldier you've also got another mission which doesn't usually pop up in daily challenges but it can happen which is complete three play with other missions i'll put a picture up on screen now how you can complete these these are pretty much if you go into your if you go into your home base it'll say um play with other missions just do that and you'll be put into someone else's mission and you can help them out that counts as completing one of them the next type of challenge is save 25 survivors in successful missions get rid of it don't do it you don't want to go through the effort of doing that it takes too long bin it and next you've got build four radar towers in successful missions so obviously for this you'd want to go into build the radar missions which i'll put a picture up on screen now of what those missions look like so you just want to go, to go in them and you'll see massive blue blueprint looking things you just want to copy those bills build up the radar tower do do that four times and your mission is complete so those were all the daily challenges you can get in save the world i'll pin every single type of challenge in the co in the description if you want to go to a specific one which obviously might be a bit more helpful depending on what one you've got these will not last longer than four games except for the destroy teddy bears and the party of 25 which is save 25 survivors bin them remember that teddy bears or survivors bin those challenges you don't want to do them but all the other ones they're pretty straightforward i hope this guy's helped out hope you can get your 1000 v bucks soon and uh yeah thanks for watching